Hey guys, how we doing? Got a couple cool new things for you. A couple really cool things for you. As you see, I ground a couple new blades. So I'm officially ready for the heat treat. And that makes it nice amount. Yesterday a lot of people loved the Wormcliff, so I did one more Wormcliff. I'm not that crazy about them. If, I don't know, sometimes I do like them, but for some reason my own blades, I don't know, just not, not so crazy about them, but they're pretty cool. I gotta admit that this one is pretty nice, the, the low profile one, this one is a little, you know, more arched, arc, and I uh, really like this one, this one is a good looking blade, I think, nice simple looking good drop point with uh, my type handle, I think that's gonna be a good, good performer. These three actually are from that 0.14, so they're a little thicker. Uh, after the cleaning it's about uh, maybe a tiny bit over one eighth of an inch so they will be really really good cutters and uh, still plenty strong nothing beefy nothing crazy and I did this one I really like this one nice big blade do I have a how long is it? I never even measured it I just randomly cut it out uh, what it is nine inches nice so that's pretty big blade nine inch nine inch cutting edge I cleaned this one the least I could to keep it as thick as I can and you see a nice generous handle so far all of them again just flat grind it's gonna get convex after they come back and uh, I like this one this is gonna be good performer I think very nice and nimble in the hand long enough to get uh, some good power into the chopping and uh, very light to carry so you will never leave it behind because of the weight so kinda like this one uh, another cool thing <laughs> you see that Got the, somebody contacted me, a viewer contacted me if I would be interested in a trade for some materials and uh, two back, uh, BK2 sheets and uh, he said he has this old old Microtech well well used and this one was actually Tanto and I said yeah of course I would love to trade it, I always wanted OTF plate but they were just always too expensive for me to buy it and uh, so I jumped on on a trade so brother thank you really appreciate it I'm gonna put some package together for you I have to make those sheets and uh, I have all different liners and stuff like that so don't worry about that and you see I already did fix it up this used to be a tanto knife with uh, pretty messed up serrations and a very bad edge on the knife so I did reground it to nice zero grind, a nice convex. It's very sharp, and you say also change the tip, and uh, it. I think it came out perfect. I really like it. Now it's good, usable, you know, very sharp, nice. Even on the, I think this one can also handle the phone book paper. So I have really good edge on it. And just a little hint from the serrations left, you see there. And this is about as much serrations I would like. Just little tiny niblets that will cut more, uh, a little more aggressive than just the regular edge. But uh, they won't bind, uh, you know, get stuck on stuff. Action is still very good. Uh, pretty hard to close it. But nice and easy to open it, and it's very light. I kind of, kind of like it. Whole new, new little toy to the collection. Very excited about it, of course, because uh, OTFs, you know, Microtex like these are just funny, cool little toys. I wish I could carry this. I actually did carry it to the post office today <laughs> when I went to ship the, all the all the knives that got sold already today. So you see, new new toy and the cherry on the top for today is I got my knife from uh, L. Marshall Brother Destructor Constructor very very cool guy I'm gonna put a link into the description he did this beautiful beautiful knife for me I bought it of him and uh, I love it this is his his original design Warncliff uh, designed a lot of for self defense uh, Marshall trains a lot of martial arts and uh, it is a beautiful knife he did uh, exotic hardwood kind of like a purple heart with very very nice texture in the wood look at that it's beautiful dark dark purple color nice and uh, waxed and treated the wood brass tubes 
quarter inch tubes beautiful very nice jimping for the palm they are as he explained the bottom is for your palm here and the top jimping is actually for your palm in reverse grip very nice and big finger chawl so the blade is not coming anywhere nice and positive thumb ram right on top of your balance point so you get a lot of power into the cuts and he is beautiful very very beautiful kind of flat grind with convex edge it's probably so flat that it's more of a flat than convex the grind itself because it's really beautiful beautiful cut check it out the geometry is just excellent he got that knife you know even though it's made for self-defense there is some serious serious little pocket pocket lightsaber you see that funny story was that when I got it Marshall actually was trying really so hard to you know get it as, as beautiful as he can with the finish so he was like cleaning up the blade he did this really beautiful almost mirror finish it's not far from mirror finish uh, check it out but he was trying so hard and he did it that he actually as he was cleaning it before he shipped it he forgot to double check the edge so the knife came dull I had to touch it up but it's just a small little mistake that happens there is not a, not a big deal about it. it I just thought it was fun because I know he had this knife very very sharp he had the videos I don't think I, I, I just quickly touched it up but he had the video when he, he was cutting like this no probably even better than what it is now and some people don't realize how hard it is to cut the phone book paper unsupported and uh, I know he did have it that way so when it came to me and I opened it and I checked the edge and it's pretty dull I said what happened Marsh like what did you do he goes I don't know and I figured like did you clean the blade before you shipped it like were you actually trying to finish like put a really nice finish on it he goes yeah I did so you probably forgot to put the edge on and say yeah that's probably ha what happened he was very sorry about it but I said don't worry man it's it, small little mistake like mistakes like that happen and I'm super happy with this knife it fits to my hand like a glove like really really perfect perfect fit love it it's goes it will go next to my all the other customs from all my other friends like Ky Kylie Casper who else I have here? Tough Thumbs, Troy, Sugar Creek Forge, couple, couple fellow YouTube knife makers I have knives from, and I love them all. They all mean so much for, to me, from uh, you know, from my YouTube friends. And uh, Marshall, thank you very much. You did beautiful job. You guys check him out if you wanna something like this. This is his very signature looking knife. He's doing a lot of different variations of this this model and uh, I think it's really good good looking blade so help the brother out I definitely I'm, I'm very very happy that I got this one from you man super happy it's just beautiful now I just have to make a kyrex sheet for it I told him he doesn't have to do the kyrex sheet not to waste this time and material that I can do it and because uh, I want to carry this definitely want to carry this blade super nice light thin great cutter you know everything what a good knife should be so definitely great work Marshall thanks brother hope you enjoyed it guys thank you for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself